the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. He's almost 30 pounds heavier than Rocky Marciano, so that combination, I think, bodes pretty well. It was a sight to behold when Iron Mike Tyson stepped into the ring to defend his undisputed heavyweight championship against Tony Tucker, an undefeated showman with a confidence that rivaled Tyson's own. What followed was a battle for the ages, as the two most skilled boxers of their generation went head to head in a fight that would test their mettle, endurance, and will to win. Today we're taking a closer look at one of the most iconic matches in the sport's history, the 1987 bout between Iron Mike Tyson and Tony Tucker. When these two titans of the ring met on that fateful day in Las Vegas, the world held its breath, eager to see who would come out on top. So, let's get started. Tony Tucker's rise to fame began in the early 1980s when he first stepped into the boxing ring. Hailing from Grand Rapids, Michigan, Tucker was a natural athlete and quickly made a name for himself in the amateur circuit. After a successful amateur career, Tucker turned pro in 1980, and his record quickly began to reflect his raw talent and determination. He stood at 6'5", with an athletic build, quick and nimble movement, and a swagger reminiscent of Muhammad Ali. He also had enough power to knock out 23 of his first 24 opponents. In the ring, he was known for his footwork, powerful punches, and unyielding confidence. And while he may not have had the same star power as Tyson, he was a formidable opponent in his own right, feared and respected by his peers. Tyson recognized Tucker as a worthy opponent and was determined not to underestimate him. He knew that facing an undefeated world champion with flawless technique and towering confidence would be unlike any challenge he had ever encountered before. So while Tyson continued to grab headlines as the most dominant fighter in the game, Tucker waited patiently in the shadows, biding his time until he had the chance to take on the mighty Tyson. And when that moment finally arrived, he was ready to give it his all and prove himself as a true champion. The build-up to the fight between Iron Mike Tyson and Tony Tucker was intense. Leading up to the bout, both fighters were undefeated, and there was a lot of hype surrounding the matchup. It's the first chance I get to get him out of here. I'm getting him out of here. I ain't wasting no time. The fight was scheduled to take place on August 1st, 1987 at the Las Vegas Hilton Resort. The media and fans were eager to see how Tyson, known for his brutal knockouts, would fare against a skilled boxer like Tucker. There was a lot of speculation about whether Tucker would be able to stand up to Tyson's power punches and whether Tyson would be able to handle Tucker's speed and movement in the ring. The pre-fight conferences were filled with trash talk and bravado from both fighters, with each one confidently predicting victory. Tucker in particular was known for his showmanship and his ability to get under his opponent's skin. As the day of the fight approached, tensions were high and the excitement was palpable. Fans and experts alike were eager to see how the matchup would play out and who would come out on top in this clash of undefeated champions. The highly anticipated fight between Tyson and Tucker took place on August 1, 1987 at the Las Vegas Hilton. From the beginning of the fight, it was clear that Tucker was not intimidated by Tyson's reputation as a fearsome puncher. In fact, he seemed quite relaxed and confident during the introductions, with an aura of a man who was ready to show the world what he was all about. His plan was to frustrate Tyson and disrupt his rhythm with his movement and jab, which he successfully did in the early rounds. For the first time in his career, Tyson looked vulnerable as Tucker landed a well-timed uppercut that momentarily stunned him. Despite being a 10-to-1 underdog, Tucker put together combinations and landed strong punches throughout the fight, earning him points on the judges' scorecards. As the fight progressed, Tyson started to slow Tucker down with power punches to the midsection. Tucker tried to get in Tyson's head with some provocative antics in the mid-rounds, but it was clear that Tyson was boxing a more intelligent fight, creating openings off the jab and throwing his punches with precision. The championship rounds approached and both fighters were finishing with a flourish. The final round was close, but a big left hook from Tyson towards the closing seconds was the highlight moment for the judges. In the end, Tyson was awarded a close unanimous decision. 
Despite the loss, Tucker had shown the world that he was a skilled and formidable opponent who could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best in the business. During his post-fight interview, Tyson acknowledged the difficulty of the match and how intimidated he was by Tucker's toughness. But I guess it wasn't together today, and he was very intimidated, and it was very tough. Was he a better fighter than you thought? It was very hard to tell because he did a great deal of holding. He threw very fast punches. It was true. And he really rocked you in the first round. Yes, he did. He was a very hard puncher. It was hard to tell if Tucker was a better fighter than Tyson had thought as he did a lot of holding and landed some fast punches, including one that rocked Tyson in the first round. Despite this, Tyson believed he had won the fight, but acknowledged that Tucker was a real fighter who deserved respect. Although the loss was a setback for Tucker, he remained confident in his abilities and knew that he had the skills to regain a slice of the championship. However, it was his lack of desire and mental fortitude that became the closing chapter of his story in the world of boxing. For Tyson, the victory over Tucker marked another successful defense of his undisputed heavyweight championship title. He continued to dominate the sport for several years before his shocking loss to Buster Douglas in 1990. Despite the defeat, Tony Tucker's legacy in boxing is one of a talented fighter who rose to the top of the heavyweight division, challenged one of the greatest boxers of all time, and left a lasting impact on the sport. In conclusion, the 1987 bout between Iron Mike Tyson and Tony Tucker remains one of the most iconic matches in boxing history. The build-up to the fight was intense, with both fighters undefeated and a lot of hype surrounding the matchup. The fight itself didn't disappoint, with Tucker showing the world that he wasn't intimidated by Tyson's reputation and going toe-to-toe -to -toe with an undisputed champion. Despite losing that fight, Tucker proved himself to be a skilled and formidable opponent, with Tyson acknowledging the difficulty of the match and the toughness of his opponent. This fight remains a highlight of both fighters' careers and a moment that'll be remembered by boxing fans for years to come. Like and subscribe and comment down below on what your favorite part of this saga was. Be sure to press the bell icon for more awesome stories and like always, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.